Well, I'm just milling out some cedar for the aft deck and bulkhead. Now, earlier I had primed and painted the um, four bulkhead that I had put in last week. So after I got it all primed, I also then put a coat of bilge paint on the front side of it. In addition to that, I put in some blocking that will hold the foredeck cleat. And also, I had filled all of the screw heads along the shear that were holding on the um, shear clamp. So I filled all of those heads with fairing compound, sanded them down, and then I put a coat of the final paint on there. So in addition to that, I sanded the transom and cleaned up that edge that I had cut where I had cut it off last week. Also sanded it down and got it cleaned up and got its first coat of varnish on it. So in this episode, we're gonna get the aft bulkhead and deck in and also get the decking on the fore deck. So all of that's coming up on this episode of the Art of Boat Building. That's the, uh, should be the last pass for the cedar to be, it's exactly a half an inch. So now we can go to the plans and see how to build that aft bulkhead. So over here at the plans, which is sheet six, we can see that we're looking aft at the bulkhead, which is at frame 19. Now we can see here that this is the arrangement of that bulkhead and that there is a door in here that's at 11 inches by 20 inch door and that's so that we can have access to that aft locker. We can also see that it is made of half inch cedar and it's painted. So the cedar is what I've just milled out. So the next thing we need to look at is the aft deck. The aft deck is here on sheet five and we can see a cross section of it at frame 20. Now we already have our beams in here and we can see that the deck covering is half inch cedar and then it's also covered with canvas just like the fore deck is. So now that we have that basic information, we can get started constructing that aft bulkhead and deck. Before getting started with the bulkhead back here, I made this piece of trim and it's basically a um, piece of oak that's one inch by five eighths and then I cut a three eighths by um, three quarter inch rabbit in there. And what this can do then is to be a trim board that will sit right along here like so. And that way the half inch cedar boards can fit right down in here uh, for the bulkhead. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do here was in this photograph you can see from the Haven from the Boat School is that these bolts here uh, show. And I wanted to be able to, to cover that up. I didn't think that looked very nice. So um, that's why I made that piece of trim. So now that I've got that piece of trim made uh, and fitted, I'm going to prime it and paint it and uh, we'll get started on the bulkhead.
now that I've got the aft bulkhead in, uh, I can start turning my attention to the aft deck. But before I do that, I had forgotten to put in the tiller hole into the transom when I was trimming off the top. So what I did was I took the plans and I lined up the center line and then used my awl to punch holes in there to locate it. After I did that, I made a little cardboard template so that I could put that on there and etch it out. Now one of the things is that there are two lines. Uh, one is for the aft side of the transom and the other wider lines are for the fore side of the transom. And that's so that when the tiller is in here, it can move back and forth so that it doesn't bump the edges of the hole. So after I got that all located, I then used my jigsaw to cut that out and I finished it off putting those tapers in there with uh, some uh, chisels and after I got the bulk of that chiseled out I then used some riffling files to clean that up and of course some sandpaper to finish it off. So now that I've got the uh, tiller hole in the transom I can now turn my attention to that aft deck. So to get started with the aft deck, I've got um, a half inch piece of cedar here and it's uh, five and a half inches wide. So the first thing I did was that I cut a um, bevel on here. I measured that and it's just like, almost exactly 45 degrees and I overcut it just a little bit so I'd have a nice tight uh, joint here at the top. And then using the center line, I lined that up. So I'm going to start with the center here and then work each way so that I've got them nice and symmetrical. So now that I've got that in there, I can mark this and cut that and install it. Now that I've got the aft deck all completed, I can now turn my attention to the fore deck. So let's look at the plans here. And we can see that the fore deck needs to be 3 8 mahogany plywood and that it be covered with canvas. Now, these plans are nearly, oh, over almost 36 years old. And I'm assuming that back in 1985 that it was a little easier to source 3 8 mahogany plywood. Not so much today. So I'm going to use 3 8 marine plywood. 
especially since it's going to be canvas covered anyway, and I'm assuming that the mahogany part was because mahogany is a rot resistant wood. So the other thing we need to look out for, we can see here in the plan view and cross section. So we move down here, we can see that here is the plan view of the deck. And one of the things we need to know is that it comes all the way back here to frame 11. The other thing we need to look out for is at this point here at frame, just after frame 8, is the chain plate. And the chain plate comes out through the decking at that point. So we'll need to pay attention to that. So in order to get the four deck out of one sheet, I'm going to split it in half. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting the sheet here, which when I scale that off, we can see that that is, so there's three feet plus two is 60 inches. The other thing then I did is I came down here and I made a general shape of what that needs to look like so that I can get those two pieces cut out for here. And then what I'll do is put separate pieces back here where that chain plate comes through. So the first order of business is to get that plywood cut out to shape. Now that I've got the piece cut out and fitted on here, <clears throat> I've lined it up with the center line. And one of the things I did do is I notched out the um, front near the stem so that it would fit in there nicely. So now that I've got this all um, clamped down, uh, what I need to do is just mark this and get a general shape off of the hull here. And we'll all cut that out. All right, now that I've got that uh, placed back on there, <clears throat> you can see here that the uh, outside of the shear strake is where I've cut the plywood. And what I need is for it to be in here even with the inside of the hull. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, use my uh, compass dividers here and I've got it so it's set up that it's exactly the right width there and so I'm going to go along and scribe that and then I'm going to cut it off and later I'm going to add a little piece of wood veneer on there probably something that's maybe about an eighth of an inch thick that way it'll, the raw edge of the plywood won't show um, once I get the canvas on top of it so I'm going to mark that off
I've had the pleasure of having many of you email me, or send me direct messages, or even talk on the phone with me about projects that you've been working on. So I've decided that in the next month or so, I was going to set aside some time that we could have some chats one-on-one. -on -one. So if you go to this link here, you'll see that you could schedule a time that you can talk to me. Now, these talks can be about anything boat building related. So perhaps you've never built a boat and you'd like to build one, we can chat about that. Or you're stuck on trying to figure out which boat you want to build, we could talk about that. Perhaps you've already built a boat and we want to just talk about our shared experiences. Whatever it is, your boat building experience can be zero to 100 and it'll be okay with me because I'm interested in knowing what you're interested in. So, go to this link. It's also in the description. And you can schedule a time that's up through part of March. And I'll be looking forward to talking to you. Well, now that I've got the uh, perimeter all screwed around, um, I will get started on the next side. Now, I had taken and drawn a line here down the center of each of the deck beams so that I can go back in and put screws in there once I get the port side on. Uh, and I'll put them in probably every uh, four to six inches. So let's get started building that port side. That's it for all of the deck parts. Now that chain plate will come through here right at frame station eight. So it'll come through right about here. Uh, so we're running out of time for this episode. So we'll get that on the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time on the Art of Boat Building.